Oh, my bad. Elias? Elias? On the side. On the side, yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Rescreen, catch, pivot, rescreen, boom. Snake it off of it. Yeah, snake it. Good shot. Good shot. Last one. grind so like people really don't understand like the the work that you put in like behind the scenes like it's a whole different type of work because you're gonna have your ups and downs you're gonna have your bad days but just pushing through and it's gotta be a level it's like it's like a mentality so even on the days when you don't feel good might not eat lunch you know but it's always gonna be your teammate next to you and it's like if you don't give 100 percent then you let your teammate down and i feel like with the state championship, the loss last year. Ooh, it's, it hurts still just talking about it, but I just feel like that really motivated us. Like every rep, every sprint, I feel like we're going 100%. I'm just excited, cause like the level that we're working out in August and September, man, <laughs> come January, February, it's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy the things we're gonna be doing. Cause I just know, it's the mind, it's really your mindset. It's like 80% mental. So once that mindset changed, and you could tell like in the locker room, weight room, the court, everything just changed. So I'm excited for this year, really, you know. It's my senior year, you know. Everyone wanna go out with a bang, but I just wanna say championship. Like all the accolades, I mean, that's cool, but uh, I got a bad taste in my mouth from last year, so it's just working every day to get like a 1% better each day. So by the time March comes, should be a breeze. Like, I mean, it's a breeze because of the work we put in now. Not because, you know, the teams, but it's a breeze because we put in the work early, so later it could be a breeze. So I'm excited about this upcoming season. But uh, Coach Jay, he, uh, he different. <laughs> I can use one word to describe him. It'll probably be different. But I just know he care a lot. I know 
sometimes with that care comes passion, with passion come emotion. So at times, at times it can be a little emotional for me, but at the same time, I know that he care. And like, that's gonna be like the bottom line of it. You gotta find people around you that truly care and have your best interests. At the end of the day, it's all about relationships, it's all about people. It's really all about relationships. At the end of the day, it's not what you know, but it's who you know. And that's how you build connections with people. It's not really, it's not really about the money, it's not really about the experience, even that sometimes. Just knowing that right person, I feel like with Coach Jay, his connections, like, he know a lot of people that I would have never even thought that I would be talking to or have contact with. Um, we kind of develop our name on the South Side. So I feel like, and a lot of people leave the South Side, like they go up North or they go to a private school. But I feel like getting it, like, getting out from where you came from, so like Clayton County, I feel like that's probably, that's probably one of the biggest things I hold on to, just staying here and putting the championship up there, you know, getting to the championship back to back, region championship back to back. I feel like all those kind of things, though, that's kind of like a legacy. Like no one can take it away from us if we was the first one to be a state champion. So I'm proud, I'm proud of where I came from. I'm glad I stayed, didn't try to go nowhere else, fight off someone else's food, just got it all, you know, on my side and put the south side of Like, don't go down. 
Like, ain't nothing but wood job coming from him. Don't go down. So for him to be the positive thing, man, as soon as you hear Southside, first thing you see hearing that, love joint. Oh, them girls from love joint. Oh, they can hoop down there. And it's so out there. Like I was telling somebody earlier, like, there's nowhere else in the state you can go where the girls play before the boys. This is the only school where the girls play before the boys, and ain't even no argument. I just feel like ever since I started playing basketball, the odds kind of been against me. Like even in middle school, I feel like being a leader and kind of making that decision that no one would think you would make, I feel like that's kind of what makes me me. And I feel like you grow the most when you're the most uncomfortable. And I feel like NC State was probably the most uncomfortable decision. Because I know it's a power five school, ACC, top 10 ranked in the nation. And people might say it's because of the name, but I just feel like it's, it's really a connection that I felt with that school. Like you really have to go with your gut feeling. And at the end of the day, yeah, you had the numbers, yeah, you had what's on paper, but if you don't feel the school, if you don't feel like, can I be here on my worst day, then it re none of that stuff really matters. Because you could be happy on the basketball court, but if you're not happy with your teammates, with your coaches, with your environment, the rest of the stuff is, is unnecessary. So I feel like with me picking NC State, I feel like it was a true, like it was a true feel for the school. And before this process even, like before this process started getting real crazy, I just pray and I just ask God, like, just make the decision very clear to me. I don't want to have to go back and forth or struggling with, is it this school or this school? But just make the decision real clear to me. And I feel like that's exactly what he did just as soon as I went there. I fell in love with the school, with the coaches, with the players. And it wasn't because of what other people may say, it was just about how I felt about that school. And I feel like at the end of the day, you gotta go, you gotta bank on you. If no one gonna have the most, if no one gonna have the most confidence in you, it gotta be yourself. At the end of the day, that's who you got, you got yourself. So I just feel like I went with my gut and I wouldn't change it for the world. I don't regret any decisions. I feel like I did everything the right way, and that's that was kind of my main deal. I want to do things the right way, as far as just letting other coaches know, letting people know, thanking the people that's been down for me. Like, I just want to do things the right way, and I felt like I did do things the right way. And I'm just excited for these next four years. But you know, before we go to the four years, it's like my senior year, so I just want to ball out. You know, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. I'm just so thankful. I'm just so thankful that. I can be able to say that I am officially part of NC State. Well, I've really committed to NC State. And I'm excited for what the future can hold. I know it's going to be ups and downs. I know every day ain't going to be easy. But at the end of the day, I know that I could fall back that I felt it. And it wasn't because of anybody else or it wasn't because of what people may say was best on paper for me, but it was what I felt in my heart. So on those bad days, I could rely on what I felt in my heart. The clear vision that God gave me when I was on that visit. So everything else, you know, I could put that beside me and just go forward knowing that I'm gonna be alright.